Hello, my name is Kay Stokes and I'm a Specialty Theatre Manager at City Hospital in Birmingham. Aviation have been using the silent cockpit model for many years now. For example, they do not talk about any other subject other than what the flight that they are doing at that moment, if they are below 10,000 feet, at takeoff and landing. Hello, my name is Alan Dickens. I'm team leader for maternity theatres at City Hospital, Birmingham. Like aviation, the sterile cockpit rule applies in theatre. However, the difference is that we apply this as part of the patient journey through the department and through theatres. Silent cockpit doesn't mean that you have to be completely silent. It means that it's been adapted to be relevant to each and every patient that comes through and only information pertaining to that patient is discussed. We implemented the silent cockpit in April of 2018. It's been successful that we might decide to roll it out into other theatres. We implemented the trial of the silent cockpit into the obstetric operating theatre to ensure that the patient has the best experience through theatre that is possible and also as is known errors can occur due to distraction and noise this is including lack of communication and misunderstanding the patient's feedback has been a really positive one they have felt that their experience within the theatre has been a calm organised and as close to their birthing experience that they hoped it could be. All staff have worked really hard to ensure that the silent cockpit within the operating theatre has been followed and they have adapted well to it. This includes all members of the multidisciplinary team including anaesthetists, surgeons, theatre staff and midwives. We hope that by following the silent cockpit we not only make the patient's experience a better one but we also ensure that patient safety is also maintained.